How you doing? And thanks for watching. It's George over here at Wicked Warnings. Here with a little uh, vintage. We got a 2011 Chevy Equinox in the shop. It's for a local company, construction company, doing a lot of road engineering and uh, different big projects. So we wanted a nice, simple warning. Kind of matches up with a brand new 21 Trailblazer that we did. It's uh, another version, another vehicle for the same company. This one on the front, we used our mini thin led that's the wicked warnings mini thin led now it's a two color light as you see amber and white and this particular light is a split arrangement that means the amber is next to the white it doesn't have any flood and you can only activate both colors at the same time we do have this light in all amber if you want but uh, you either order the all amber or the amber white and it's a side-by-side -side configuration and you can get the alternation of color you can synchronize it like we did here where both fire white and both fire amber if that's the look you're after that's a nice low profile light you can see here when i pull back a little bit gives you a nice pop of color on the front of the car these cars respect to get a basic four corner kit for general road construction use on and off of the construction sites on public roadways so that's what this is all righty these vehicles have a honeycomb grill and it does have a kind of slight word backward angle to it but the linear lens that's in the mini six really throws the light at a good array up and down and to the left and right so even though it has a slight tip back it still has a good light output now the spacing on the screws for the mini thin happen to line up real nice with two of these factory buttons on the grill so the wiring goes through one of the open slots right in the center of the light and we pre-drilled a hole and we used the gasket as well behind the light self uh, double stick VHB gasket with the primer promoter and uh, we were we held it on there for a good 90 seconds to make sure that it stuck real well and then we also added the screws so if we ever remove this again tiny little screw holes would be all that would be there and you could easily fill them with some black silicone and make them disappear I like the fitment of this light in this grill because it's nice and shallow and this way it's protected from car washes or snow brushes or any other uh, incidences that might be smacking onto the light. You can see what I mean there, how low profile that light is. It's uh, one of our very low profile lights, similar to the Thin X, and uh, you can t see right there that it's actually behind the grill, so fairly well protected right there on the front of the car. Alrighty, around the back we just needed a simple solution, and these lenses are pretty forgiving. I do have some photos, uh, I, or I meant to take photos, I'm not sure if I did, but around the back it's a single wall lens and a real forgiving rubber gasket. Uh, fairly easy process. The panels inside pop out real easy to run the wiring forward. This is not a bad, uh, bad install at all. Um, you can use an HD or an LD lens in our HAW Duo. I, I would recommend the LD lens. It just seems to fit nicer and it's easier. So uh, let's run with the LD lens. And you can, if you want, even use the EcoHaw as well in an LD lens in the back. This particular product you're looking at right now and the one we're going to link to is the HAW Duo in an LD Amber. Just a simple double flash, fast alternating pattern for the back. Alrighty, regarding switch, uh, we found a nice little spot right here on the dashboard. Uh, just put a light in light up three-quarter. I suppose you could also probably have gone in here But it gets kind of buried behind the steering wheel and everything here So uh, being a fleet vehicle put a little tag on it for them. They're good to go Just a simple light up three-quarter switch um, Once you remove the lower dash panel, it's pretty easy to get back up in there and run your wiring, etc As far as going through the firewall under here, we did drill a hole. It's kind of put back together now But I will say uh, it's gonna be to the upper right of the hood pop cable we cut away some of the insulation and we drilled a hole right there because uh, there was no real easy pass through otherwise so did a three-quarter hole with a three-quarter um the three-quarter snap-in plastic grommet uh just to, for to avoid the sharp edges so that's it thanks again for watching wicked mornings hope you enjoyed this video if i missed anything or need any more information drop an email drop a comment info info at wickedwarnings.com check the description for links to all these parts you can put this build together on your own it's a pretty easy build to do a couple mini thins and a set of hideaways in the back so don't be scared take on the project thanks again for watching